were in a bear cave and he asked me out. That's like the main thing I always remember. Wait, what happened? Sammy and I, we only knew each other for probably about two, two and a half months before. I was sick of Fargo and I needed to get out of here. And at that point I was like, well, I'm going on a road trip and my mom was yelling at me, you can't go alone. I'm like, well, nobody wants to go with me. She's like, well, you can't go alone, you might die. There's that better. Now I don't have the double chin. Nobody, everybody backed out that I invited. Nobody wanted to or just couldn't. And Sammy was like, I'll go. Okay, I've only known you for about two months. Whatever. God, I look kind of good. Well, we were on our spur of the moment trip to Colorado. We barely knew each other. And I agreed to go with him. And we learned a lot about each other. His Jeep broke down, so we really went through kind of a lot of crazy stuff. She got uber sick, but stuck it out, went on the whole trip with me. My car broke down, and my family knows me. I'm a pissy person. I just don't talk and I get all pissy like. She was able to deal with me and still was able to pull out a, a wonderful, amazing trip. But we made it, we survived. Uh, we went hiking and we went to Seven Falls. We kept hiking farther and deeper and she's like, God dang it, this is getting kind of crappy. I'm like, just a little farther, I'm just taking a couple photos, it's kind of fun. And then all of a sudden we got deeper and deeper and I'm like, there's a bear cave, let's go on a bear cave. Hey Sammy, what? how does my butt look? making a trip that could have been horrible even better throughout the whole process. I just knew that I would rather be with her than anyone else on Earth. And that's when he told me he loved me and asked me out, officially. <laughs> but. <laughs> Sammy, what are you doing? I don't know. know. Hiding from my dad. Ah! Yeah, that's probably like the one main moment I always remember. I don't mind to slow down anymore I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor I don't mind selling out or playing cover song Just as long as friends and family sing along And I don't need more money or a faster car, no Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar, no Gonna take this little house and make a home And then I'll never have to face my nights alone Cause in my heart I hear speak And on my face I feel you breathe Next to me To by land, by air, by sea And that is how it's supposed to be now, and that much I can say Now Well, I don't mind to slow down anymore don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor anymore, anymore. Kyle and I first met at work at Family Wellness. We were both working a Halloween event and we were both working different stations on opposite sides of the gym. I don't remember her until the very first time we started throwing ping pong balls at each other. And Kyle would throw his ping pong balls back and forth across the gym with me in between kids and parents but it was hilarious because she said we met three or four times prior to that but I don't remember any of that I would plan my workouts around him 
Yeah, she started working out and she didn't know what she was doing. And then she's like, wanna give me some pointers? So we really didn't get a lot of working out done. First of all, I love you and the dogs too. <laughs> Without knowing you, I jumped in the Jeep and drove 14 hours with you by my side. We survived. You've shown me my love for dogs, how to love myself, and how to live my life. I promise to stand by your side and bring out the best in you in all adventures. I promise to laugh at your jokes most of the time. <laughs> I can't wait to take on this crazy adventure with you. Sammy, you're the most stunning person I have ever met. First time we truly interacted, I was encompassed in all your fun-loving personality and your ability to teach children. At the first moment, um, I finally understood why they called it family wellness. We became a family that day. I never feel alone with you, and I will always make sure that you will never feel alone also. I promise to never leave your side and keep you company through the worst of times um, that life can throw at us. Love and marriage is a challenge like no other, and it is a never-ending commitment that I see it as a challenge. And I love my challenges. I will always forever make sure it's a challenge to stay with you. Our future is an unknown path that we will forge together, creating a trail that only we will understand. And with it, it is with you that I would like to explore the depths of the unknown. It is with you that I give you my soul and my life. You are the one who I will forever love and cherish. You are truly my one and only, the only one who puts up with my ridiculousness and my stupid pity. <laughs> and I love you. <laughs> advice to Sammy and Kyle, right? Be kind to one another, be patient with one another, keep laughing, it's important, have fun. Sometimes it's just better to walk away and think about things before you say things you shouldn't. What kind of advice would he need? Well, you've been married longer than his, less than 24 hours. I would advise him to stick with a straight number two when he goes to the barber. Probably my biggest advice is life is a compromise and there are so many different ways to get the same thing done and with experience you learn that it doesn't really matter if you have the same goal you can end up there a lot of different ways. I'll second what she said. Very, very good advice. So I'm not married. Shelby's not married. Good luck yeah. I guess. Happy wife, happy life. She's always right. <laughs> You're welcome, Sammy. Be patient. Very, very patient. <laughs> Don't say anything that you're gonna regret, regret saying later. And don't go to bed angry. Heard that one a ton of times, but I would agree with that one. My advice would be to use the same recipe as parents used. They've been married a really long time, and they had three boys that are insane, and they're not dead and the parents aren't dead so whatever uh, Mary and Dennis did is legit. Go with that. You guys are gonna change over the years but you just kind of you know you don't marry the per you marry the person to grow with them not just of who they are right now too. 
don't call each other names. That's just rude. <laughs> and um, unless it's in the bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> unless it's in the bedroom, yeah. <laughs> do whatever you want. <laughs> Maybe just don't share it with your mom. <laughs> but if you do, I'm okay with that too. <laughs>